Chris P, do you have any memories of King Kong Bundy? Uh, not a lot. He came to Memphis. He was one big guy, one huge guy, because Lala would bring these guys in and he'd keep them around. You know, they'd come in a short term, maybe three months. And all they came in for is to really work an angle with Lala. And he'd get them over a little bit, or Jerry Jarrett would get them over a little bit. And then he'd feed them to Lala. And Lotta would beat them, then they'd they'd go. See, a guy could call Jerry and say, Jerry, listen, <clears throat> can you use me about two or three months? <clears throat> and, you know, a lot of bookers like to hear that, two or three months. That's not an obligation to book him for a year. Hell, almost a moron could book somebody for three months. You get them over for a month, then you work the angle, then you blow it off. I mean, that's boom, boom, boom. That was easy. But, but he wasn't there long. Wasn't hard to work with. He was, and the people bought him pretty well. But for him to go a year, he would have died. I mean, the people would. He, I mean, how many times can he just jump on somebody and pin them? We only had fourteen guys anyway. So if he come in and he he beat two or three guys, he'd already beat half the roster basically, and then go to Lawler. That's how they worked it. Yeah, I don't have a lot of memories about about King Kong Bundy. He was teamed up with Rick Rude for a while. And that's all I remember about that. Did he have hair at the time? No. He did not have hair. He, Funny he, guy, though. Funny guy. Did he call everyone Little Man? I don't remember. He really didn't talk that much. He, he would talk. But he wasn't like... Uh, overbearing. He was a nice guy. He would say hello to you and and what you would expect, you would show normal respect for your comrades and your, your working buddies. 